James Comey says he believes that he was fired because the investigation of Russian election meddling was putting pressure on the president. Nancy Cordes was in the hearing room for Comey's public testimony. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. Committee aides see Comey's testimony as a turning point in this investigation. They think it will compel other top current and former administration officials to meet with the committee as well. What left senators really scratching their heads were the number of times that Comey said that the president lied to him or to the public and pressured him about the investigation. I think there are a lot of questions that remain to be answered. I have hundreds of outstanding concerns. I like getting all the evidence before I made the decision. Comey's four-hour hearing left senators with a lot to mull over. It was unmistakable from Jim Comey's testimony today that President Trump engaged in inappropriate and unethical behavior. Some Republicans argued unethical is a lot different than unlawful. Whether it rises to criminality, you know, I think there's significant doubts about whether it rises to that level. Comey described for senators why he decided to keep memos about his one-on-one -on -one meetings with the president. I was honestly concerned that he might lie about the nature of our meeting, and so I thought it really important to document. He said Mr. Trump asked him in the Oval Office to drop the FBI investigation involving former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Why didn't you stop and say, Mr. President, this is wrong. I cannot discuss this with you. It's a great question. Maybe if I were stronger, I would have. I was so stunned by the conversation that I just took it in. Do you sense that the president was trying to obstruct justice? I don't think it's for me to say whether the conversation I had with the president was an effort to obstruct. I took it as a very disturbing thing, very concerning. Comey said that after he was fired, the president disparaged him and the FBI. So he shared his memos with a friend, a Columbia law professor, asking him to pass them along to the press. So why didn't you give those to somebody yourself rather than give them through a third party? Because I was worried the media was camping at the end of my driveway at that point. And I worried it would be like feeding seagulls at the beach if, if, it was, if it was I who gave it to the media. So I asked my friend, make sure this gets out. So what's next? Well, committee leaders are hoping to meet with the new special counsel, Robert Mueller, as early as next week. And committee staff are going to be conducting a preliminary interview with White House senior advisor Jared Kushner. Nora. All right, Nancy, thank you so much.